Hi, I'm Sarah Jones from the Digital Curation Centre and I wanted to talk you through one of the new features we have on DMP Online. So you'll see here on my screen I have the admin user guide for DMP Online and there's now a section on conditional questions. And this is a feature that allows you to set conditions on different questions in your template. So for instance, if you've got a question around sensitive data, it might be that if a user is not creating that kind of data, you're able to skip a series of questions. Or you might want to add an email alert. So for example, if somebody's creating a large volume of data, you might want to um, send an email to IT services so they're aware of this and can check that people have costed in appropriate resources. So here on this page, you'll have a, an overview of how to add conditions um, with a couple of screen grabs. And what I'm going to do in this demo is talk you through that. So at the moment, I'm going to show you this on the DMP Online dev site because we haven't deployed this yet. It goes out live tomorrow. And what you need to do is go to the templates area of the admin interface. And this is where you'll see your own templates and can go and add conditions to those. Now, what you need to do first is to actually create your template. So you'll see here I've created one, um, just a fictitious example, with a couple of different questions. And the reason you need to do this first is because we need to know what these options are to set conditions on them. And if you're wanting to remove certain questions, we need to have those saved in the database already to be able to give you those as options to remove. So I'll go in to edit this phase and what you will see I have my questions here and I'm going to add um, a condition to remove some questions. So I've got a question here about sensitive data and I can click this button to add conditions. And then what this interface will do, it will show me the different answer options I have. So if the user isn't creating sensitive data, I might want to remove any questions then about ethics and you can tick to remove whichever questions you want to skip. So I'll tick to remove these three and then go and save that condition. And I'll just set another one as well just to show you how this works. So I have a question under sharing and preservation, which is about um, which repository people will deposit in. And you can see here this is a, a checkbox type question. So we have different answer formats. We've got things like checkbox or drop downs or radio buttons. And essentially anything that has structured answers, so options like this, is what you can set conditions on. So this time I'm going to add um, conditions around an email. So it might be that, for instance, I, if I'm at Glasgow Uni and the local repository is called Enlighten, I might want to send an email to alert that repository to data being deposited. So I could say, you know, deposit forthcoming, save that email with any message. Um, one thing just to flag actually on, on this last option, I didn't show it you before, but you can, when you have multiple choice, you could decide that it's a couple of options that generate the condition rather than just one. So it could be a sequence of, of answers. Okay, so I'm just going to save that change and then I'm going to publish a template and I'll show you how this looks on the front end. So I'll just publish the changes and go and create a plan with this template. And when I come to write the plan, you'll see I have um, this section around the data description and I set a condition here if somebody's not creating sensitive data it removes all these ethical questions. And you'll see this becomes grayed out on the interface and it tells the user that they've removed three questions from their plan. And I set another condition around email. So if I'm depositing in Enlighten, I can save this and it's triggered an email to, to myself to let me know. So that's how you set conditions on templates. Um, as I say, it's going live tomorrow, so this is why we've been putting together the user guidance, but we'd encourage you to have a look, to try it, and to let us know what you think. So, 
Thank you very much. Goodbye.